With season five coming to an end, there are in total 10 Joneses according to Bunker Jonesy. And in today's video, I wanna break down the history, the introduction, why they were added into the loop, all the different Jonesies and go over exactly each theory for each Jonesy. This is a super exciting storyline video and I think one that everyone will enjoy so make sure you stay tuned right until the very end and let's start off with the first ever Jonesy which was added in which is number hey, one hey, Jonesy hey. the first. So Jonesy the first was the original Jonesy added in at the start of the loop. When Fortnite was first introduced he was introduced around chapter one season one and kind of lasted all the way until the end of season X really. There was only a few other Jonesies that popped in in between this time and we'll explore that in a second. But yeah, Jonesy the first, the standard Jonesy that entered the loop, he was the first one and very basic. He didn't really know what he was doing and probably not the cleverest Jonesy out of all of them. But then suddenly we got to around season eight, season nine, when the volcano erupted. We saw another Jonesy in the loop head inside a bunker to protect himself from the eruption in season eight. Now this is when the second loot Jonesy gets introduced being Bunker Jonesy. And we can see that here right now and obviously the trailer which happened which obviously developed to him to become that Bunker Jonesy style which is quite nice. He was obviously introduced to protect the island against what was going on. At this point in time there was a lot going on with destabilization of the zero point. We saw the unvaulting event obviously just right before the volcano erupted. We also saw several other events re regarding Kevin and the eruption of the cube itself in the center island as well as other things as well all around the zero point. So a lot of stuff was going on connected to the zero point, even the seven, and this was their second attempt to protect all that using the Jonesy, the second as I like to call him, the Bunker Jonesy. But while this was all going on as well, we also had Castaway Jonesy introduced somewhere in this timeline. Now it's not 100% confirmed where he was added in in this timeline, but Fortnite did release a little trailer for this and we can see from the trailer, he was just randomly stranded on some sort of island. He got stuck inside the loop and was just never really found and never came to the island until a later date. Now we'll jump back to that as we get to that point in the timeline. So time had passed a little bit on the island and we'd hit to about season X time and now Dark Jonesy was introduced. This is when Jonesy kind of went through a huge time lapse and a huge kind of, I guess when the zero point decided to just completely expand and explode, we saw this trailer here for the season X launch and Dark Jonesy has a tie to this. Obviously Jonesy would have turned into this Dark Jonesy due to the cube returning in this season X. Everything was getting destabilized and this was just insane for the storyline, probably one of my favorite seasons for the storyline. And that's where Dark Jonesy was introduced. Now he himself tried to protect the island once again. We know that Jonesy goes into the loop to protect the island from what we saw in the season five trailer. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like he succeeded right there. So, so far we've gone over four of the Joneses, but there still are a few others. Now, a side point is Peely. There is one trailer which you can see right here where Jonesy actually drops a banana into a rift and turns into Peely. Now personally, I don't like to class Peely as one of the 10 Joneses. I don't think it really makes that much sense, but it could be a possibility and we'll come back to that at the end as we explain who the temp Jonesy possibly could be. Because if Peely is a Jonesy, then the temp Jonesy is obviously going to be Agent Jonesy. But if he's not, then there is something there on an outlier, which I can't wait to explore. Okay, so with that little kind of anomaly right there, we're gonna move on to the next one and go into Slurp Jonesy. So he was the next Jonesy to be added in into the world of Fortnite. And in my opinion, Jonesy once again was sent into the loop and accidentally came across Chaos Agent and got turned into Slurp Jonesy. And he was kind of sent in at the start of chapter one here to kind of examine the island, make sure that Ghost and Shadow was going okay, make sure there was nothing going on too dodgy. And then we started to see obviously duplicates of skins and stuff inside the loop. And this is when things started to really mess up when they had to reevaluate the entire sequence due to what the seven did to it in the season X event. So quite exciting stuff there to be honest. And obviously Slurp Jonesy, is what happened to the Jonesy in that sort of kind of time frame in that loop. He didn't originally come into the island as Slurp Jonesy. That's the same with Dark Jonesy, Bunker Jonesy. They all come in in their original format, the majority of them anyway. So that was Slurp Jonesy out of the way. And next up was Scuba Jonesy. So Scuba Jonesy was introduced around chapter two, season three, after the event where Midas managed to destabilize the storm, causing the giant wave to be formed by the IO team back on there, wherever they're based outside of the loop, 
they obviously formed this giant wave to contain Midas's plan and contain the zero point and make sure it was okay and Midas didn't destabilize it too much and obviously the water did help with that. So then they deployed another Jonesy who obviously developed into a scuba Jonesy to keep watch on the island throughout that season. Now throughout this time period not really much has taken place other than in season 4 where we had uh, Galactus come but the Avengers did come in to help us with that. But during this period scuba Jonesy was scouting around making sure everything was okay in the water environment. We also saw the appearance of Castaway Jonesy. This is obviously because of this giant wave forcing Castaway Jonesy to finally make his way to the island. He was added in in this season which was really nice as well as relaxed fit Jonesy. He was also introduced as the water levels started to lower. Another Jonesy was deployed and he obviously turned into the relaxed fit Jonesy because he was more chilled out. Now one thing to note in this video which I've not mentioned early on and maybe people will be commenting this down below because I've not mentioned it but if you see them commenting it just tell them what I'm telling them right now. These are based off all the skins that have Jonesy in their name. There are so many skins in the Fortnite world that don't have Jonesy in their name but have the silhouette and personally I don't class them as one of Jonesy's loot. We're focusing on the ones with Jonesy in their title and in total there are actually only eight of these currently inside of the actual description name or kind of like the skin tracker type things where you look for skins there's only eight of them in that kind of name title. So what else do we have? We have one final Jonesy, and that being Cozy Jonesy, who was added in in Season 5. Again, deployed around Christmas just to make sure everything was stable around the Christmas time. He really did kind of do his best job, and he didn't really do too much. He just made sure nothing crazy went down this Christmas, and to be honest, nothing really did. So he did his job pretty well, in my opinion. Obviously, the earlier days, when Jonesy the first, he had a lot of work to do throughout all the way from Season 1 to Season 7, and he did a really good job, Jonesy the first. But that now leaves us with the question, what is the last, or who, or what, or where did the last two Jonesies fit in this? Because we don't have any evidence on these. Now, like I said before, Peely possibly could be one of them 10 Jonesies. It's not 100% confirmed, but it is a possibility if Peely is one of them. Then that would mean the 10th one is going to be the Agent Jones we have today, who's the one in the suit. We see him in the Season 5 trailer. He's definitely one of the 10 Jonesies. Or is one of the 10 Jonesies one of the seven. Now this is one of my theories I've had for a little bit actually. I've been thinking about this because if you think about it, Jonesy knows a lot about the loot. Like he's like really knowledgeable. He works for IO. He's in control of the zero point and he knows so much. The seven are inside the loot, which I'm suspecting was originally created by IO. So the seven have to have been put inside the loop to be able to kind of create this kind of development or kind of you know create that kind of scientific like, group they have so almost to put them in which makes you think that originally one of their members is Jonesy that's my theory and that's what I think possibly could be the case right there other than that the only reason the seven could have so much good knowledge is if the loop was created but it didn't just create the Fortnite universe it also attached to loads of other universes which is kind of similar because that's why we saw Marvel potentially appear inside of Fortnite. It kind of like attracts everything to it kind of. And I'm guessing the seven are coming from maybe a different planet or a different universe. Out inside of that universe, they're like using rifts to get into the world of Fortnite. A little bit like Galactus did with uh, Thor in the comics. So that's another possibility of who the seven could be. They might not be the Jonesy, but if they are, it understands, well, it kind of explains and helps me understand why they have so much knowledge and how they can kind of do these crazy events and really manipulate the zero point or at least attempt to manipulate it with IO almost correcting it every single time. But yeah, I hope this video really did help you out and give you a theory on all of the Jonesy's backgrounds. Obviously, this is only all a theory. My theories could be wrong. And if you have any other opinions down below, maybe things that I've missed or something that you want to comment on about each of the Jonesies, let me know. Who do you think the 10th Jonesy is or who do you think the 9th Jonesy is? We don't actually know if Peely is a Jonesy or not. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about that that's it for today's video hope you guys really did enjoy it don't forget to support me in the app shop with code postbox pat really does go a long way and subscribe if you're new around here and once again this is postbox pat signing out